And we have another video from Akua, the name Roman Chernohov. That's the real pronunciation version, Chernohov. It says here. And uh, he showed a little bit different version of the device that is self-powering, not using any power at all. And he's trying to prove his point against some of the skeptics. I will not take the stand as to all of the issues involved, but I will try to document and uh, translate into English so the people would be able to understand what he's talking about. Hello, Artur. People have had a problem with the white wire that I had going out of the house, and now I'm going to disconnect the wire. In my house, I had all of the electronics connected to the ground. That's why I used that white wire. Now you see only the black wire. I'm going to use my hands to uh, disconnect the wire. Vovka was asking why did I use such a long wire. Well, it's physically impossible, technically impossible, it must be this length. So here we have an indication that the length of the ground wire is set and cannot be longer or shorter. With basic antenna theory and experience I could say that according to the certain frequency response the wire could represent half wave or quarter of wave of the signal that is going through the wire and must resonate. So it's a, it's a clear indication that we're dealing with the resonance. Let's go for it. We don't see any additional wires that are coming to the device from anywhere. And I'm going right now to my uh, AC meter installed by uh, a power company and I will disconnect it. I will try to show you if you would be able to see the red dot that will show up on the window to prove that AC is working right now and I'm gonna flip the switch. That's it. I switch it off, so we don't have a power going to the house at all. And we're coming back. You have nothing inside. And I'm gonna show that. There is nothing there. Um, connecting the wire. That's the wire for the capacitor on the top of the Tesla coil connected to the big coil, the one made out of the couple. Yeah, that's what I am.
and I'm going to start the device. Connecting the battery, putting the start button. I cannot connect this middle light bulb. We're going out of the resonance and I'm not going to be able to have the device working. That's as much as good. I could draw out of the device. So, by looking at this comment, we'll see that there is a certain maximum of the load that is connected to the device, and the loads appear to be a part of the balance circuitry. We don't know whether this is due to the resistance of the light bulb or due to the impedance but most likely if light bulbs appear to be an active part of the circuitry in resonance wise then we could assume that we're dealing with a certain impedance that the light bulbs as a set represent to itself also another note the light bulbs appear to be connected in parallel uh, and uh, <coughs> connecting more of the resistive components which tanks and wires the resistive component will make the total resistance which is part of the impedance lower and that's what he's trying to avoid. As you see, there is nothing here. That's the white wire that I have disconnected. You see the water coming out of the pipe. You see the rust on the pipe. Okay, I'm gonna stop in here. I cannot come close with the camera to the device because there is an interference into the camera when I'm too close to it. And the camera could disconnect or get shut down. And you see it's working. Arthur, I will try to make it one more time. Quick way. I was thinking that I could go somewhere in the open field with the device, but with all of this apparatus, it's hard for me to do that. So the assumption is that the main reason for him suggesting that he could go to the open field is that there would be no doubts about the fact that his device works. I could have leave it for the night, but if the weather change, I could have a rain. So the impact of the weather to the device, that's why he says it could work 
longer. That's it. And I'm gonna switch it off. Without the battery, you wouldn't be able to start that device. Now we saw in here for a moment when he pressed the stop button or the start button that there was some energy in the capacitors or in the circuitry because uh, left fan uh, turned a little bit. Very active and very much knowledgeable friend of mine, Arunas from England, from London, NYW group. Sees in it something more. Uh, the additional feature added there is our known induction cooker circuit in the right over yoke and on the right hand side you see the yoke the Lithuania experiment you better recall it that was me Arunas and Aidas so what he says the additional feature added there is our own induction cooker circuit in, in the right over yoke and here is it goes with the mixing electrostatic field from Tesla coil in the left strong magnetic field on the air core transformer in the right and that's what you see on that photograph that's another picture from that for me it's a beautifully done Lithuania experiment we are able to extract consequently 60 watts uh, 160 watts 600 watts and 1 kilowatt out of two generators connected directly to the yoke that was taken from Russian TV Rubin and uh, the maximum power delivered was milliwatts from these two signal generators but the actual drawing of these two signal generators was 5 watt each one from the grid and uh, uh, Tiger is another one who experimented with it and actually Tiger was the first one who experimented with yolk. Then I decided that I'm gonna go with Coleman and Jalipsy 1956 patent which is a powder in the glass tube and that is for me nothing more or less but the yolk. It's a composite engine that is there it's not the physical shape that we have on it. So when we go into Andrea Rossi conclusion, we see another link there, which means that Coleman is most basic way of understanding phenomena of extraction electrical energy out of the nuclear bonds. We are attached to Yoke experiment, which is known as Lithuania experiment theory of nuclear magnetic resonance. My assumption is that secret ingredient or additive that Andrea Rossi cannot work without is cobalt and metaphosphite. There's the experiment that was done with Aidas and Arunas. If you make a Tesla coil and another air core transformer driven by 50 Hz primary then exposing it to strong electrostatic field of the Tesla coil results very much strange phenomena. You see the coils, one is lying down, one is standing up, 90 degrees. That's a basic structure for nuclear magnetic resonance effect. Think about it guys.